Hello everyone, it's just sound and video test and I want to make sure that you can hear me and see my screen. So please let me know if all is good in our YouTube chat. I'm waiting for a reply. Thank you. So I got a message that everything works correctly, thank you. And today we will talk about email gamification and how interactive models work. I would like to meet my colleague Valeria, she will help me with the webinar chat and answer all your questions. Feel free to ask us anything. I also want to say a few words about Stripe company. Uh, Stripe is an email design platform that helps users to save time and beat, build email without any coding skills. We do our best to improve your experience with Stripe and our team is always open to different suggestions. So if you have them, you can always contact us via email and I will share our email address in the webinar chat. So let's move on to the topic that brought us together. We will start with the basic concepts of uh, what AMP is and how it can be useful for us during sending out emails and templates. Uh, so AMP is a technology that gives us the ability to send dynamic and interactive content to recipients. Dynamic content, which is a trend allows information to be delivered to users in real time and also allows you to do it all in emails. Recipients can now vote, comment, draw and more directly from the inboxes. Striper Editor has many opportunities to use AMP technology and let's start with the simplest thing. So the first one we should go to our editor. Now let's move on to <coughs> another project. And if you want to add AMP to the template, we should enter to the any template in our cabinet. So let's create blank template. Then here we should go to the content. As we can see, we have already here and block, block tab. And here you can see three blocks that are marked with the blue lightnings. Carousel, accordion and form. Let's start from the first one, from the carousel. This component creates a carousel for displaying multiply images. You can customize the carousel's appearance and behavior by modifying its properties. First, let's drag and drop the carousel block. Then we should add an image. So let's click on this block and add some images. So here you can upload your image from your PC or paste external link. I will download image from my stock library. So for example, I want to upload this one. <coughs> and now, as you can see, we have opportunity to add the desired number of slides by clicking on the add slides button uh, here. Let's fill two slides with the images. So I clicked on the add slide and now I need to upload another one. So maybe let's upload this one. Here we uploaded two images and now let's start check settings of this container. As you can see, we have the option to add alternative text here for two images and paste a link to the relevant slide if you need it. Uh, also, if you want to only one common link for all slides, you should activate the general link control and it will add the link to all slides. So here you can see general link, we can activate it. 
for example, let's paint this one. <coughs> Uh, so let's go to the preview and see how the carousel looks like. Here you can see the button to the preview. And now we have opportunity to slide it and we can see the mini preview at the bottom of our screen. And also we can check the mobile preview as well. And now if you go to the settings here you can see afterplay, feature, loop, Display preview, uh, slide preview. So, for example, if you want to uh, mini preview show at the top, you should click on this one. Uh, the next one adjust the preview alignment here. So, for example, at the right side and add the border radius preview. So let's add this number. Besides, you're able you are able to set in indent between preview. So maybe let's add 15. And also if you would like to make the slide round, then you can do it here with the function border radio slides. Furthermore, you can set your own custom preview. Here, let's enable it. And uh, you have opportunity to upload your custom image for the preview. Here you can see the area where, where you can drag and drop your image or upload it from your PC. Or maybe if you want to uh, set cover, only cover for the preview images. Here you just click on it and let's make it for example green and this one will be blue. Okay, we're done with the carousel. Let's check the preview again. And now as we can see the preview at the top one, at the top side and at the right side because we have specified it and now we can change it here too. So maybe let's click here and our preview alignment will be in the middle and I will set slide preview to the bottom. <coughs> okay, we're done with the carousel and let's check the next one, the accordion. The accordion block allows you to open and hide some pieces of the content when being click on it. This element enables saving space and does not distract the customer with information they may not need it. So let's drag and drop the accordion block. Here you can see uh, setting of accordion, uh, accordion block. We should add the number of the section we needed. For example, I want there to be three of them. So let's add the second one and the third one. And let's give all the sections names. I will take information to fill out the accordion from this article. Let me show you. So let's take this text for the first section. For the second section I will write an image and here will be the link. Uh, so let's go on. I need to copy this text and I will paste it to the first section here. So now I should go to the block, drag and drop text here, and I will paste my text. So let's make another alignment for it and maybe change the text size. Yeah. 
in the second block I will add an image as you can see I want to upload this image so here we can open image in new tab copy this link now we should go to the block paste image block here and now let's paste our link yeah and in the third let's add a button by which our client can be redirected to the article and read it so the first one i need to copy this article link go to the blocks drag and drop here button and now when i click on the button i have opportunity to upload link to this article so i will write link here <coughs> and let's check the settings of accordion here you can see the after collapsing accordion option it allows you to show one section at a time when you open any other section the previously open one is closed so let's enable it the unanimated expansion option is on by default it activates the switch property allowing your sections to open and close slowly if it does not need it you can always turn it off by toggling the button here you can see uh, you can customize the accordion design set the background color outline width and color section text color and font size so let's go to the preview and check our accordion block So here as we can see three section and let's open the image. Now let's open the text and here we can see the link and if we click we are redirecting to our article. Same for our mobile version. And let's go uh, to the another amp container and block it is form let's drag and drop it here and check the settings of this block here as you can see uh, we should click on the lightning html icon in the template to open these settings uh, the block form is very useful for those who would like to receive feedback or any uh, other useful information for their client uh, in the settings panel you should select our uh, service from uh, for collecting the data and download it in the future if you download it in the future to create a service here if you want to create this service you should go to our main menu here and go to the data tab you can see that I don't have any services so let's create my first one I will give it a name so for example with test and here as you can see service has been created successfully <coughs> i'm sorry and now we should we should go to our template and refresh our window our page and now if you go to service um, to this step here we have opportunity to choose a service Uh, the next one step you should click on the add form element here and select text input by clicking on the new block here for this one you can choose here text multiplying line text number email or phone type 
in the settings panel it's always this one let's select the text one in the settings panel uh, in the show input field name you should enter your CTA text and start the form so for example I want to write here leave a feedback <coughs> and let's place let's paste a place uh, a placeholder here so I want to write hint now we can go to the preview and see our results So here, as we can see, I drag and drop it to the accordion. Now you understand that you have opportunity to uh, upload any blocks to accordion. And maybe let's move it to another block, our, uh, our block form. So let's move it maybe, maybe here. Yeah, so yeah now let's go to the preview now we separate it and now we can check uh, here as you can see we have opportunity to deliver feedback let's for example write um, test one two three four five and click on submit as you can see feedback collected and saved So um, we have looked on the standard MP box that can be added to the template. Let's check prepared content that our designers have produced with MP technology. We just need to go to the model section here. And, he and then, then our next step, we should go to the sort section by clicking on the filter and select only AMP and NPC AMP models. Here you can see more advanced content that were created using AMP technology by our designers. For example, we can see feedback form here in which it's possible to select answer option. Here you can give a rate here too, here you can give a rate and collect the feedback or add a game to the template <coughs> so let's drag and drop two models the first one I will pick maybe I will delete first container, go to the model and I will drag and drop this one and I will drag and drop the game here and now let's go to the preview and check and check it so here you can see the hint that can be deleted when you change all information here so let's imagine that we change it yeah and let's delete this one and let's check the game so here you can see game that we should end yeah and after we will end it you can see we have a, a promo code you can uh, paste any information here and after your customer will end the game will finish the game he will see some information here that you will leave and here you can see the feedback form with the option and you can click on the submit yeah so we can see that everything is work correctly and now let's test the created AMP content in the Gmail. So if you want to test it, you should click on this button 
and paste here your email address so I want to test it on my private email now let's open new tab and go to the Gmail inbox and now we can see the test new message and let's check our AMP content that we have left so test and let's check the game game works too maybe let's end the game yeah here we can see our promo code so you can see that everything is working correctly and now let's test uh, another one features this is also not all as I said I would like to introduce you a different section where you can get prepared a template with AMP content so let's go to our main tab and now our next step we should create new message here the next one you should go to the prepare templates here and in the feature tab here we should select uh, accordion menu amp amp form the next one carousel and the last one gamification yep templates with this section have amp content in the template which is already done and you can simply replace, replace the information with yours and make a new sweater for example let's take two templates from this list the first one i want to look at rate delivery template this one let's open it we can see it in editor and let's check it in preview mode yes yeah, so we can send the feedback and let's replace some information to our for example I want to have feedback about Stripe platform. So, how likely I recommend Stripe? Let's replace it. Stripe. Stripe. Wait. <coughs> and also, let's replace the button text to, for example, to the feedback. Yeah. So done, let's test it in a uh, Gmail. Here you can see the errors and if you go to the errors uh, tab you can see that the validator failed and now you can understand w w which information should be deleted. And let's check the test. Here you can see that our information not delivered in full because we have uh, we have and some errors. So let's check. It is the tag font is disallowed. So now we should delete it in the code. So let's. Uh, check it in the code yeah here we can see font cover I think this one is this uh, is not allowed so let's delete it and check the preview yeah now you can see that no uh, no problems and now we can send test again and check 
yeah now you can see that our email have feedback form we can rate it yeah leave a comment and click on it and let's go ahead we're done with the test in the gmail and the second template i want to take I think it will be with a gamification, so we should uh, pick a gamification only here. It's called promo, so let's click on it and check how it works. So here you can see the HTML lightning block. This uh, by this icon we can understand that. Uh, this container contain AMP technology and now if you want to see how it works in preview we should go here here we can see the view of fortune let's start and now we get some gift from uh, super wine company and also let's test it with uh, gmail and let's send it here as we can see again we received the type of wine that fell out to us using the view of fortune and now below you can feel here your number to receive a gift so as you can see with the help of amp technology we can create a lot of non-standard content and as statistics show us the presence of amp in the template increases customer in judgment by more than 50%. And Vincent AMP design with the gamification, questionnaires and so on can be created with the knowledge of HTML code. But I want to please you, the Stripe platform has added the ability to create and Vincent AMP content without any coding skills. If you want, if you want to check how you can create it by yourself you should go to our website then go to the product tab and here in useful tools section you can find gamification for emails let's click on it currently uh, using interactive models you can create four types of advanced amp content so the first one questionnaire uh, the second one, View of Fortune, the third one, Picture, Quiz, and the last one, Scratcher. Soon we will also add text, quest, pixels, art, puzzle with a hero to version of search, word search, and the last one, Find a, a Pair. The mechanics of how interactive model works is such that our uh, that you create content manually then you receive the amp code by email and insert it into your template so let's create one example for each and test how it works so let's open it in new tabs and go to all of them i plan to create four amp blocks at once place them in one blank template and test them. So let's start with the first one questionnaire <coughs> and click on the add section. Here we can see that we have fields that need to be filled in and let's do it. Here I will copy this question, paste it in the question tab. The next one step we should paste link to the question uh, to the question image yeah so i will use this one 
so here we copy and paste it here then we should view answer option and indicate them in this field so the first one I will pick maybe Gmail the next one Outlook by clicking on this button we can mark that this answer is correct you can also see that we have the option to activate extra hint for answer here this feature will display specific text that you specify separately for correct and incorrect answer and display questions numbers this feature will help you if your form has more than one questionnaire so we done with the questionnaire here we can see how it works let's move on to the view of fortune everything here is also simply you just need to indicate 12 option and write a description for each of them let's indicate simple answer from maybe 10 to 21 So here let's write 10 and another section 11, 12 and etc. And after I will end with all these features, I will paste it to our template and we will test it in Gmail. So done, let's test it now. So here as we can see 12 and here 21, yeah, and I think I made a mistake here. So yeah, as you can see here I paste 12 and here, here 21. So let's correct it and now as we can see it works let's move on and check the puzzle uh, the logic of this feature is such that you just need to provide a link to the several images and it create a puzzle so for example we got three images and when the client assembles it correctly we will receive a message so let's check the example that we have provided yeah now you can see the text that will appear after uh, correct assemble here we should click on the get started yeah and here we should paste an images so the first one I will pick this one and paste here the second one I will maybe write post images and will get this one and the last one let's take this one uh, here we cannot get link so let's paste it here so now we can see the first one target image was here and now we should assemble it and here let's write the 
the final text after assemble. Here, as you can see, we have our text. And in this one tab, uh, we can indicate the text that our client should receive if the puzzle is folded correctly or incorrectly. And the last thing that I want to show you was the scratch. Let's go to another tab here. Everything here is also very simple. We just need to indicate the text that we want to hide. So here we should write the text. Maybe let's write striper. And uh, if this client point at this area several times, we will be able to scratch it and see what we have hidden from him. Here you can see also the scratch button. Let's enable it. And write text for the button. When you click on it, you won't need to point at area and it will scratch itself. So we have created all four designs. <laughs> Let's now talk about the nuances. Uh, if we go to the each section, let's start from the question area. We can see that we have the ability to change the appearance in this step. You can change or paste your cover, numbers, your text, and etc. So it is uh, changeable and you can change it as you wish like any other box that you have listed here. We can also easily find out how our content will look on mobile phone by clicking on this button. And also I want to clarify that AMP content may not be visible on all emails clients. If you go to the official Google website here, let's go to the official website. Here we can see which ESPs have the ability to send AMP content and which clients can receive it. I am sending a link to this site to our webinar chat. So here we can see the list of the ESPs that supported AMP content and four email clients that supports ability to, to uh, see the MP content. <coughs> For example, uh, as we can see here, Gmail that we have tested, and you can test it on on any emails that here mentioned. For example, we can see that uh, Apple Mail and Samsung Mail are not in this list, but we have made it so that the content will be displayed correctly in these AMP clients. Let's go here. And also I want to notice, therefore, if you don't uh, find a client in this list to which you plan send AMP content, then it will be not displayed. But we have made it possible to create a fallback immediately for this case. If you send an email with AMP content, to a client that does not support AMP technology. So we have talked about uh, Samsung Mail and M uh, Apple Mail. It not uh, it's not listed here. But if you go in interactive HTML, here you can see the version that will be appeared to customers with Apple Mail and Samsung Mail. Let's now add these four blocks that we have created to our new template. Here we should click on save and after we specify the email here, 
we will receive a message with a code that we can add to the template. Let's send it and you can also immediately copy it from this section. After we have copied, we just need to go to our template. And as I said, I want to add all these blocks to brand new message. Let's pick empty template. <coughs> and if you want to add the code that we have copied here, so let's start from this one, yeah. Uh, we should click on the stripe here so or we can move it by these uh, steps uh, and uh, the next one our step we should open code of this stripe by clicking on this button here you can see whole code that Mm, this is shown directly in the stripe uh, in the stripe section yeah now we should select ho this whole code and paste our instead and let's do this with every interaction content that we have created so it was the first one let's go to the view of fortune save it here send it to me copy and now go to the stripe open it via the code editor paste our code let's move on to the next one it will be the puzzle save send it to me copy and paste it here and the last one we should create new stripe for the scratch again save it and copy the code and open via the code editor and now let's uh, we have done it now let's go to the preview and check the result and after it we will check the result in our gmail account in gmail inbox so here works works as well yeah, so it works too and here too and we can check our mobile version that's also really important yeah works and now let's go to the test tap and send this test so yeah works works as well and works too we can see everything is fine and the most important thing is that we did it very quickly also if you, if we create such a design manually without the interactive models feature uh, that stripe offers it would take many times longer let's also look at one important thing in order uh, for your emails with amp content to be displayed Google requires that your domain will be, uh, your domain should be on the white list. So here we have created an article about this topic, in which we indicate the main points here. Uh, here we indicate the main points that we, you need to be done if you want that your domain is. Uh, if you want that your domain will be in the white list and then you can send AMP content to your clients without any problems I'm sending you a link to this article in our webinar chat and also 
I want to show you another interesting content. Stripe platform has created 14 courses on AMP technology that will help you to understand how this feature works and after complete after completing these courses you will have the opportunity to create everything that you saw early and more by yourself so for example if you take um, this one courses game repeat the drawing you can create a template in which your client can draw let me show you an example of final of final design so here you can see the preview of this template and now you can see this template itself so if I want to draw I should select another color yeah and now we can submit a Christmas card Also, if you take a course with crossword or puzzle here, you will have the opportunity to create such dynamic content. Let me show you another example. Oh, I'm sorry. It is not this template. Yeah, this one. So here you can see the crossword and here you can see five questions. So uh, let's write an answer for it. So electronic mail, I think it's simple. Email. The second one, uh, figures that appears as moving images. So here we can see animation. The third one, a virtual block that counts down to a central date and time. I think it's timer. The next one, promo images with the text or even button on it, should be banner. And the last one, size, weight and style of typeface, should be font. So let's check. You can see I have pasted it correctly and now I can check my incoming emails next week it will send me a present. I also will send you a link to the, uh, this academy to our webinar chat. So thank you for your attention, that's all. I will, I were happy to share all information about Stripe and features with you. And if you have any questions about this webinar, you can write and I will answer in the webinar chat. Appreciate your time and have a good day.